everybody, welcome to Fashion Friday. I'm gonna do a video today on the trends of 2020. And I should have done this video last week, but figured I'd start the year off on a positive note. Um, I don't necessarily love following trends. I think that style really has no rules. I think that trends are a really fun way to add pieces to your closet and to try something on that you might not have tried on before. But the thing that I like about trends is everything is cyclical. So everything is on a 20 year cycle, which is why you're seeing all the 90s come back. And in the 90s, we saw all the 70s come back. So we're kind of getting what in style world they call a 2020s does 90s. Um, and you'll see that a lot when you vintage shop online, it'll be like, 40 or 80s does 40s, uh, 70 does 30s, that kind of thing, so on and so forth. But what I like to do is I like to follow the trends and kind of look at what I can get a lot of right now that I like and leave behind what I don't like and stock up on it. So for instance, um, two years ago when the color of the year was purple, it's my favorite color, so I stocked up. So this is a really great way to figure out what you like, how to add it to your closet and to experiment with it. And I'm going to just go from here. I'm reading from the Cosmo um, Top Trends of 2020. I have not looked at these yet. I kind of know what's trending already based on the Golden Globes red carpet. Um, so let's just get into it. Number one is puffy sleeves. I like a puffy sleeve on other people. I've put a lot of my clients in puffy sleeves. Uh, Caroline Cole can pull off a puffy sleeve like nobody's business. It's very popular right now. We're seeing it on the red carpets. We're also seeing a lot of sheer puffy sleeves on the red carpet, which is really interesting. Um, I like it when it's sheer and I, don't, I like it on other people. It's just not for me. It doesn't really fit my aesthetic, but we're going to be seeing a lot of puffy sleeves everywhere. The other thing that we're going to be seeing, and we saw it on the Balenciaga um, runway, is polka dots. And I love polka dots. And the Golden Globes were a couple days ago. Zoe Kravitz wore a gorgeous St. Laurent polka dot gown. I had a mixed media polka dot. I really appreciated it. And men and women can both wear polka dots. It's not just like this super, you know, cutesy little girl trend. Um, I love polka dots on men. I think it's great. It's very Bob Dylan. If you're afraid of the trend, rock it in like a pair of tights with a normal black dress, then you'll be absolutely set. All right, pleats. Pleats can be great. Pleats can be terrible. Pleats can make you look like you're wearing a curtain. Um, there were some really good ones at Pierre Moss this season that I really appreciated. Um, like, there's a lot going on right now. Um, so, I don't hate a pleat. Depends on the fabric. It can be really unflattering if they're not laying in the right direction. Ooh, a statement trench! I love statement trenches. I love trenches. I have one that I'm in the process of selling just because it doesn't really fit me right. It's a vintage Burberry, but it's beautiful. And that's why I've held on to it for so long. But a statement trench is like something with a different kind of texture on it, a different kind of, uh, like a leopard print, or uh, this one's like got leather on it. So that's kind of cool. Um, I love a trench. They always come back around, so if you have one, hold on to it. All right, the next color, it's pastels are having a big moment. Pastels have been having a moment for a few years and they're still having a moment. They're not my favorite, they're not flattering on me. Um, the shade is Buttercup Yellow, which is pretty much my skin tone. Um, so Buttercup Yellow, it looks beautiful on women of color, looks beautiful on olive skin tone, just not for me. This trend is not very wearable for a lot of people, whereas I feel like the other trends that I mentioned before could absolutely be. This says denim maxi skirts. Unless you are a Duggar on 19 Kids and Counting, unless you're Amish, no one should ever, 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 ever wear a denim maxi skirt. I don't care who makes it. I'm pretty sure Celine did some this year. And as much as I love Eddie Slamon, please do not wear one of these unless you want to look like you're in a cult. I talk a lot about cults on here. Maybe I should do a video on the best style cults. All right, utility jumpsuits, super cute. Uh, they're flattering on most body types. We're seeing a ton of jumpsuits because the 90s are back in style, which means the 70s are back in style. A lot of these are utility jumpsuits. They look a little bit like, um, like a painter suit. I'm not mad about that. And uh, the other one is leather all year. Depending on where you live, that is great. I live somewhere where it is hot in the summertime and the spring, so I will not be rocking this trend, but I am seeing a lot of really interesting, um, there's a yellow and a gold leather that's interesting. Uh, a lot of this leather looks like it's unlined, so it's not going to be as heavy. I prefer to buy vintage leather if I ever do buy leather or second hand because I don't want to contribute to that, that whole thing. 
Bermuda shorts are on here, you guys, and they're not, they're not punking you. All right, Bermuda shorts. That's a choice. Billowy dresses, we just saw that last night uh, with Gwyneth Paltrow wore Fendi. It's not my favorite trend, mostly because uh, it's very, it's not wearable for most body types. And uh, half and half, all right. Um, you look like Corilla DeVille, that's fine. This has uh, one brown shoe, one white shoe. Roomy blazers, so we're seeing a lot of blazers right now. We're having kind of a big moment, very similar to when the 80s had the kind of women in the workforce power suit thing going on. Uh, they all fit in the shoulders, but they're all roomy everywhere else. I like blazers. I, I'm not mad about this trend. Fancy bra tops. All right, so we're seeing a lot of this again. Givenchy did them. Dior did them. Um, they're satiny. They're pretty. It's not super wearable unless you have very small boobs or what I call fashion boobs. Um, so I don't recommend it. My favorite bra top moment in history, and it's so like laid back and stripped down, it's Janet Jackson, Love Will Never Do Without You video, where she's wearing a bra top and like a high-waisted jean. And she just looks so pretty, and it's classic, it's coming back. Um, the last thing on here, it's called the Boss Trouser, so it's a high-waisted wide leg pant for women. This trend's actually very wearable. I know a lot of my petite friends are really, um, they're a little scared of the trend because they think it's going to make them look smaller. And if you want me to do a video on how to style them, because they are a little like, um, if you don't know how to style them, they can be a little intimidating. I'm happy to do that because they are one of my favorites. All right, I think Knit Maxis, very 90s. If you uh, had a Knit Maxi, you also probably had those Steve Madden shoes that were like the mule slides. So the general trend rule is if you wear it once, the first time around where it's trendy, you don't wear it again. So I will not be wearing that again because I wore that to Easter in 1997. Cardigans are back, which is not shocking because the 90s are back. It's not my personal favorite trend. I know a lot of people that can rock them very well. Um, but that was about it as far as the Cosmo top trends of 2020. And all in all, I'm not shocked because we're seeing the early 2000s come back as well as the 90s. It wasn't my favorite era of dressing. And like I mentioned, I've already worn the trend once. So I will not be wearing it again. Um, but I do find an opportunity. I've seen some other uh, vlogs where Fringe is making a huge comeback. I'm really excited about that. I will stock up on it and then bring it out when the trend dies. Um, I've really enjoyed wearing snakeskin and leopard print and buying all those pieces now because in a few years they're going to be really difficult to get. When you are set in your style and you know exactly what you like and what works for you and what doesn't, you can use these as guidelines to when to stock up and when to not. Um, in 2016, I bought nothing new because I didn't like anything that was trendy, but you know, I've been adding pieces in slowly but surely. And the great news about these trends is that a lot of them are really wearable for every body type. They're going to be coming out in every single budget, um, you know, price bracket, and you're going to be able to find something that works for you and that you can have fun experimenting with. All right, guys, that was my reaction to the top trends of 2020, according to Cosmo. And I am really excited for this week's video where I tell you a little rock and roll scandal story while getting ready. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see Fashion Friday, you can hang out with me. And if you want a little teensy bit more support, one-on-one -on -one hang out with me, head on over to our Patreon group, patreon.com slash the Peyton Project. And I'm in the middle of a five day style challenge right now. And I'm gonna be doing another one next month. I will talk to you guys next week. And until then, remember you wear it well.